What up, folks? I am Ultrazone, and today I have a review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Eye Guy. That's right, my zillions. Uh, we got another Lightning Collection monster here in the form of Eye Guy. This is some a nice art by Tom Whelan on the side. Cool box, you know, as per normal with the Lightning Collection. Um, pretty much, you know, just getting the monsters from here on out, even though, you know, I do have the Metallic Rangers to review at some point. Um, the monsters for me are where it is at. So without any further ado, let's get to this review. Alrighty, so here's Eye Guy out of his package, and he's a cool figure. Um, he's not perfect. None of these guys have been. Uh, although Pudgy Pig was very close. Um, I, I think this is a pretty good figure. Now, the two things I needed here. Um, see this dark paint on the hands on the head? Hands on the head, that's it. Um, I needed that all over because he's just way too white and he was definitely more that color. Um, so, I, I mean, you gotta, this, white was the wrong choice then. You know, there's other colors that they could have given us to make it more on the mark. The other thing is the eyes, right? The eyes, um, you know, you just, it, it needed to be fully painted. Um, like, I don't even need it like that. I just need all the eyes to be filled in. Um, so two glaring things there that I, th I think Hasbro should have given uh, more thought to. Like, the white was a simple plastic color choice. Uh, they could have given us a more, like, you know, beige color and it would have worked better. And then, you know, the eyes, that, that's not that hard. You got most, you literally got most of them. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Other than that, though, I mean, I think it's pretty good. The head sculpt is really, really nice. The big main eye looks pretty good. You got red on the outside. You got a gray behind a um, plastic covering on the inside. And you'll notice there's, like, little things there. We're going to talk about that uh, for articulation. Spoiler. Um, the teeth look okay around this eye. Uh, and you can close this eye. Again, spoiler. But, um, which looks really funny. Uh, but I like that. You know, I, I think that looks really good. See? Nice shading. It looks very nice. These eyes are cool. Those eyes are cool. The eyes on top here are just done in brown. But at least they're done. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Um, on the back here, you got really nice sculpt. I do like the sculpt on these protruding eyes. I think that looks pretty good. Sculpt on the back looks pretty decent. You only uh, got the pupils in two spots. But again, uh, they're the bigger ones, and I'm good with that. And, uh, you know, the rest just I needed the dots. It did. Uh, same thing with his buttocks. And the back of those legs, you know, you got some painted and some not. But the sculpt is really nice throughout. There's no doubt about it. There's a lot of folds and wrinkles. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's looking pretty good. The arm, you know, looks pretty good. Most of uh, the eyes are done, and that's pretty cool. Dig that. Again, great sculpt. I like the sculpt of the hands a lot. And that's pretty cool. The other side, more of the same. None of these painted are, you know, oh, yeah, none of these on the inside are painted. You know? I think it should have been done. Chest? Same deal, but most mostly painted, which is good. It's the front, so you want that to be as so. Down here, it's, it's a mixed bag of paint and not paint. And the white is so glaring, guys. It really is. Like, as you can see here, these legs are a little bit darker. And, you know, that... It still doesn't work, but it works a little bit better than this really, really stark white up here. 
So great sculpt, you know? I like some of the eyes that are like half opened. I think those look really good with the eyelids. Bottom of the feet, have, don't have much going on. It's toes, oh, you got some folds and wrinkles on the toes. The toes are all painted, the eye toes. That works. This one's painted here, but not there. I wish some of these, you know, ones with the eyelids um, were painted because those are the better looking ones in my opinion. A lot of sculpt work, a lot of sculpt work, but man, totally brought down by, you know, the amount of not paint. Um, that's a bummer because it it still looks really good, but I just can't stop looking at the non-painted ones. Um, I think proportions are pretty good, by the way. Not bad. Although I do gotta say, it is definitely bulkier uh, than what I get I look like, but you know what? I can let that go. I do like the sculpt a lot. And what about articulation? You might have noticed that some spots there's no articulation. Again, you can't close that. And then these helps you move the eyes around, the eye, the big eye. And you could move it up and down, side, to side, which is neat. I do like it. Nothing in the chest. So, you know, but that was gonna be hard to do. The waist is very strange. You can't go back and forth. There is like a ratchety, clickety joint going on but it does not feel good it makes you and there's some like kind of snapback thing going on that kind of makes me a little nervous then you do have a butterfly joint in here even though it does not work that well a little bit you get a little bit of it then you got a hinge a swivel you're gonna get messed up by these hindered by these and uh, nothing you could do about that um because the head doesn't move you get a single jointed elbow, but it's pretty deep, deep enough, I would say. And then you get a hinged wrist, which works. All right, yeah, it's not bad. Legs, almost a full split. Kicks forward, goes back a little bit. You do have thigh cut. You have a double jointed knee, which works, even if it's a little bit tight. Nice ankle rocker for sure. And a hinge there, and that all looks pretty good. I like how that looks and uh you know that one moves pretty freely but this one this one's more ratchety this one's like almost the ratchet's like non-existent um which is interesting so yeah it's fine it works for the most part yeah it works for accessories uh we get some fist hands here for eye guy which looks pretty good you got more white on this i feel like and more beige on the inside oh lost one uh, but, you know, the eye on them are painted. It's only one. Uh, this one has two and this one has one. But they're all painted, which is good. This next accessory is seriously, seriously cool. Uh, I really like it. It's on this, you know, floating peg, which is cool. I, I do think it's a pretty good base. Uh, and then you got this big eye here, which, you know... He's able to produce out of that eye, and then it floats, and it could, you know, shoot beams and stuff. Um, it's got all of these, like, eyes here in the energy, which is actually super, super cool. That is very, very nice. If you wanted to know where they spent their money, this piece is it. Um, there's no doubt about it. They skimped out on some of the coloring there. For this but look how nice this color looks compared uh to the white i know it's supposed to be more of around his head but if the rest of his body was that instead of white that would have been great sculpt work is amazing i really really like it none of these eyes are painted but i do like the sculpt a lot i like all this like like tentacly looking stuff going on there that looks great lots of folds up there uh, this eyelid does not close, but as you can see, it's got the same concept there where you could, uh, use that to move the eye around, I guess, but, uh, I think that's gonna be very, very tough. So, I don't know. It's the same exact eye, though. 
um, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to, you know, finagle it too much. And for this, it's got its own effect part, um, which you would, oh, wait a second. Do you take this eye out? Is that what that's for? That's what that's for. Okay, so <laughs> I was using it to move, which you can do. So, um, but that's actually so you could take out the the clear part, and you could use that to uh, blast out this really great green effect part that goes nicely with that one, uh, which is cool. So that also means, and that. If it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. But as you can see, you can use that for movement, which is nice. Um, but there you go, you can take that out. And now you have eye guy shooting his beam right from his head. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm glad we discovered it together. And for size comparisons, here's eye guy with a bunch of figures that you might have in your collection. Um, this metallic pink ranger was the only lightning collection figure I had handy uh, so you can see how she scales um, but man this is the SRC it does not scale well we need lightning collection megazords articulated megazords in this scale to scale with them because I know a lot of folks have had problems with the regular figures scaling well with the monsters um, so let's just forget them make these guys, you know, giant sized, you know, just let's say they're giant sized and create the Megazords, you know, non-transformed, non-combining Megazords articulated to go with those guys. And my final thoughts, you know, it's a mixed bag. I really like the figure. I think the figure itself is awesome. I think the sculpt is really, really nice. I think the accessories are great. Um, however, I just, I can't get past the fact that they didn't paint all the eyes. And, you know, I just feel like the white it was a bad choice in my opinion. Um, those two things were easily rectified in my opinion, but we did get that nice floating eye effect part. So, you know, it's still like about a $30 or under figure. I guess, I see it, I understand it at least. But I, mean, I just wish it was there. I think it can be there. Hasbro's a big enough company where that shouldn't be a problem, honestly. But white, not a great choice, should have been beige. And uh, that, that would have solved it all uh, as far as the color of the figure. Right now it's too, too much of a two-tone figure. Uh, and it kind of throws me off. And I'll leave it at that. You guys let me know what you think down below because the sculpt is, is really, really nice, I, you know, for sure. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out.